The Falcon Wing doors on the Model X I think are the thing that makes it the most identifiable and it's also the thing that's given the car the most issues. Uh, it's had early quality control problems, but they do a lot of really cool stuff when they work properly and I've had no issues with mine at all, but I wanted to show you what the Falcon Wing doors are, how they work, and why they're useful. So open them up, you can open it up in three different ways. You can use the key fob, you can touch the door, or you can use the 17 inch touchscreen inside. I'm gonna go ahead and touch the door and they will open up and articulate open with two separate hinges. And that's really the first way that these things are unique. They've got two different hinges as opposed to like DeLorean doors or Lambo doors, where they need a lot of space to kind of open up. These go up and they can go out uh, to get around cars. So for me, my use case in a garage, uh, I can open up really tight spaces. I can get in, I can get my kid in without having to back my car out first. I get really technical about the springs and the actuators in here. I've gone through and looked at the CAD drawing that Tesla actually gives to the fire department in case there's ever an accident so they can get the uh, car open. But the, the short version is two separate hinges uh, to get this thing open and of course to help it close as well. So hinge here and then very clearly a hinge there uh, as well. Uh, there's also a ton of sensors uh, on this car as well that prevent it from banging into things and bashing into things. Um, so first I'll show some of the uh, pinch sensors that are here. So these run all the way along top of the car. Anywhere where it touches the base of the car, there are pinch sensors. They're almost like little buttons. So in case uh, a finger or a hand gets stuck there, uh, it'll go ahead and open back up. Uh, there's also a combination of ultrasonic and capacitive sensors as well. It's a ton of tech crammed into this. Uh, you can close the doors really in the same way as also a little handle here to close it, but I'll go ahead and use the button and uh, I'll kind of stop it midway through and show you some of the stuff. So we'll go ahead and stop it here. So actually underneath the aluminum, you have ultrasonic sensors. Similar to the ultrasonic sensors we've got in the back of the car, these kind of button sensors here, but Elon Musk thought they looked ugly on the side of a car. So one of the reasons the Model X initially delayed was engineers had to design an entirely new sensor system uh, that can actually go through the aluminum on the car. Uh, and they did, and it works, which is surprising. So those run through the base here. Uh, and then there are touch capacitive sensors here. If this door is opening up, you can kind of tap it and the door will stop immediately. Similar to a capacitive on your phone, for example. Sort of similar type of technology. So all the sensors work and kind of do a dance, make sure the doors will open and close around a person. So uh, I can show you real briefly how they work. Go ahead and close the door. So we'll go ahead and close. And if there's a car or a person standing next to it, you can see that uh, on the touch screen too. When you try to open the car up or the door up, uh, you'll know it'll sort of have to articulate up and around you. So it's kind of cool to see. And if I open the door up here again, and as it opens, if I touch the, the capacitor sensors, it'll stop immediately. And there wasn't any sort of pressure or force. It was just a simple tap uh, on any of this black strip here down below the door will stop. And if you want to sort of continue it, you can go ahead and sort of push the door again and I'll go ahead and keep opening. So that's a really helpful use case, especially for me as a parent. I can really get right up to the car and kind of get my kids uh, in and out. But you notice that these also open up really high. So those aren't the only sensors on the doors. There actually are sensors on the top of the car as well to detect if you're in a parking garage, there's sort of an overhang or a big concrete something that the door can bash into. So the doors are one of the reasons I was most excited to get the car and also a reason I was super nervous to get the car and a big reason why I decided to lease. I had no idea how that's gonna hold up. It's doing a lot of stuff and there's a lot of things that potentially break or go wrong uh, with these doors. So we'll see how they perform. But for me, I've actually found them to be really useful and surprisingly helpful. Again, especially with kids, getting a dog in and out. Uh, my wife has back problems. So when she's trying to get kids in and out, she doesn't have to lean forward. Uh, if you're trying to load groceries or get something out of the car, it just makes life really simple. Uh, it also provides super easy access to the third row. So, Falcon Wing doors. We'll see how they hold up. They certainly look interesting. I think you're, it's kind of polarizing. Either you like the way they look, or you're like, what the hell uh, is that thing? I'm enjoying it. I've only had the car for a week, so we'll see if that holds up. If you guys have any other questions, though, about the Model X, the biggest question we had was the doors. Uh, and how they worked and if I've had any problems with them. I'll leave the questions down below and let me know what questions you have. We'll do more Tesla videos sort of answering those. Make sure you have notifications turned on as well so you get notified when those videos come up. And since you're a nice person, give the video a thumbs up. It certainly helps us. Until next time, I'm John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. 
So as I worry about whether or not the doors are going to fall off my car, I can at least sit back and relax some Animal Planet Go and catch up on my favorite episodes of Project Grizzly or Ocean Warriors or just other cute animals. Take Animal Planet with you on the go. We link to the app down below.